Footprints Without Feet by H.G. Wells Herbert George Wells was an English writer. He wrote science fiction and military science fiction. He is considered the father of science fiction. The extract is taken from the novel The Invisible Man. The chapter talks about the scientist Griffin who discovered how to make himself invisible by a scientific research on optics. The extract gives a complete account of the scientist Griffin's experimental act on his research in the public. The story starts with the surprising event that takes place in the middle of the London. The fresh muddy imprints made by the barefooted man on the steps of a house startled everybody. It was a mystery for most of the people in the surroundings. It was caused by a scientist who had just discovered how to make the human body transparent. To bring this effect, the scientist Griffin swallowed some rare drugs which impacted his body to become a transparent one as a sheet of glass. He was rather a lawless person. He did not consider the local laws while testing the project in the public. This act was disliked by his landlord who tried to eject him. To escape from the public appearance, he had to remove his clothes. This led him to become a homeless wanderer. To move around, he had to to lose his clothes and money. But if he steps into steps in mud, he could not hide hide it from the public appearance. Some boys also followed him using the muddy footprints when he was moving around in the London. But they could not identify his presence visually. His poor decision to wander about London without clothes during midwinter brought many nuisances to, to him. And he found a shelter in the store to get overcoat and some clothes to cover his body, especially the brim hat, wide brim hat. The winter season forced him to wear clothes too. He was able to get cold meat, coffee and meet with meal with sweets he also settled there to sleep on a pile of quilts unfortunately he did not wake up until the assistant's arrival after seeing them he had to run from there to escape by quickly taking off his newly found clothes. In his next attempt, he tried to seek shelter in Drury Lane Theatre. After a short while, he found a suitable shop to get bandages to wear around his forehead. This also led him to rob the shopkeeper to escape from all troubles. This proved that the third 
the thick crowds were always inescapable one for him so he further moved to the village of iping and booked two rooms at the local inn his accent and intelligence helped him to manage the landlord's wife mrs hall he gave reasonable statements to get a place at an inn he clearly stated that he wanted a peaceful atmosphere without any disturbances and and problems he also gave reasons for covering his face griffin's strange habits and irritable temper raised several doubts about his presence he also made a statement that he was expecting a check to arrive at any moment so these things managed help to manage him a should suitable place at in after a while a clergyman and his wife made an alarming sound due to a robbery in their study their efforts to find the culprit was in vain they could not identify any traces of him they also checked the scientist's room to find any suspicious things all of a sudden they could sense that someone's presence and the mysterious chap in his bedroom became alive everything seemed to them strange in their presence the lady also assumed that the act was done by her mother's spirit but the news of the burglary at the clergyman's home proved that it must be done by the scientist to confirm his doubts mrs hall confirmed her doubts mrs hall inquired about the events and his mysterious presence in the locked room the scientist got angry over such queries and vowed to show off his skills he suddenly threw off his bandages clothes whiskers and spectacles in a minute everyone was baffled to look at the invisible man mr joffers the constable also tried his best to get him red handed the scientist made all efforts to escape from the dangerous situations by striking the police and throwing off all his garments garments one by one he finally managed to free himself from the attacking situations this once again proved that he was an invisible man